What's up guys, welcome back to Code Wizard. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to install Git onto Mac OS. So Git is a free open source version control system that allows you to keep track of changes and work on a code base with other developers. And it's widely uh, used in web development. So we're gonna install Git onto Mac OS. So there are a couple ways to install Git. Um, but one of the easiest ways is to use a package management tool called Homebrew. Um, now, Homebrew is can be used to install Git, but it can also be used to install many other different packages, and it's also widely used in web development. So after you use Homebrew to install Git, in the future you can continue to use Homebrew to easily install other tools. So to install Homebrew, we're going to go to a website called brew.sh. Okay, so this is the Homebrew website. And to install Homebrew, it's very simple. There's this one single command here that we're simply gonna copy into the terminal. So to copy this command, just go ahead and press the this little clipboard icon here. And that'll copy the command to your clipboard. And then open your terminal. And to do that, you can just uh, type in command space. And then that'll open spotlight search. And then you can search for terminal, press enter and then your terminal will open up. So in the terminal, we're gonna paste that command and then press enter. And it usually will prompt you for the password for your system. Now I already have uh, Homebrew installed onto my machine, so um, it won't actually show you the installation process here, but all, all you have to do is type in your password and then press enter, and then it will go through the install process. And it usually only takes a couple minutes. So once Homebrew in, is installed, you want to make sure that it actually is installed successfully and you can use it. So you're going to want to type in brew dash dash version, and this is going to indicate the version of Homebrew that you have. Now, if you type in this command and there's an error or it says the brew command is not recognized, um, what that means is you have Homebrew probably installed, however, it's not added to your path. So when you add a command to your path, that means you can access it basically anywhere, um, any directory on your machine. So all you have to do is simply add the brew command to your path. And to do that, there's just a simple command that you have to paste also into the terminal here. And I put that command in the description below. But again, you only need that if it doesn't recognize the brew command. So you can see I have homebrew 4.2.2 installed. So now we have homebrew installed and we can install git. So to install git, the command is brew install git. And that's it. So we go ahead, press enter, and then it will go through the installation process for git. And that's it. So to make sure that we have git installed, we can just type in git dash dash version. And you can see git version 2.39.3 is installed successfully. So now you're able to use git on your machine. The last thing I want to mention is the differences between Git and GitHub. Uh, if you're new to web development or software engineering, um, you may have heard about Git, you may have heard about GitHub. So I just want to be clear that Git and GitHub are completely separate, even though the name sounds similar. Git is a version control system, helps you keep track of changes like you do in Google Docs and Google Sheets. Um, However, GitHub is simply a website where you can host your repositories. And when I say repositories, I'm specifically talking about your projects, so source code, right? So if you wanna push changes to GitHub, as in let's say you're developing some code locally uh, on your machine and you wanna have those changes show up in GitHub, then you would use a version control system like Git to push those changes. So Git allows you to interact with GitHub, but keep in mind that they are indeed separate. So the last thing I wanna show you real quick is I wanna show you how you can set up your name and email on Git. So when you push changes to GitHub, if you want to, um, it will actually display your name and email for the particular commit that you made. Um, again, for those of you who are new, a commit is simply some type of code change that you did, and we call that a commit. So to set this up properly, what you want to type in is git config dash dash global 
user.name and then I'm going to put in code wizard for my name and I'm going to press enter and then for the email we're going to do git config global user.email and then you're going to do I'm going to do my email and then press enter and then to verify that this is working, you can just type in git config dash dash get user dot name. And you can see the name is code wizard. So that's the name that, you know, when I make a commit, it's going to show up as code wizard. If I do git config dash dash get, and then we can do user dot email, you can see code wizard at gmail.com. So you can see that you know, the Git config is set up properly. So that's it. That's how you install Git with Homebrew. If you have any um, questions about the commands, I'm going to list all these commands in the description of the video. Uh, like the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.